Welcome to Module 3 of the IBM MQ Certificate Management Tutorial. This is uh, the module where we're going to generate some certificate requests. We just got done setting up the baseline environment and you see Explorer running there. I've got QManagers Ash and Birch and we're going to go to the uh, Ash QManager and take a look at the uh, what's in the SSL directory there. Now, each one of these queue managers is going to need a key store and since we're using CA sign search each of those key stores will need a uh, root and intermediate signer set of keys and ultimately each one is going to need a personal certificate but the way that we're going to do this is we're going to set up the uh, personal certificate on one queue manager first and use uh, SSL CAuth optional so that the client side does not need to uh, provide a certificate. Once we get that going, then we're going to set up mutual auth by adding the personal certificate on the client side. So you'll see here that I ran the uh, runmq akm command. The first one created the key database, and the second one is now going to list that key database. Now the first time through, um, I specified a password. I hope that you'll use something long and random because password doesn't quite cut it as a password, even if you substitute a zero for the O. Um, so uh, the other thing is you're never going to have to use that password again because, as you can see, I've been using the dash stashed option, which says basically take a look at the stashed password and use that. So we don't actually have to know it anymore. So I switched over to the Birch directory. I've got two queue managers, one named Ash, one named Birch. Um, and I've created a key store in each one of these. And in the Birch queue manager, I'm going to do the additional step of creating a certificate request. So uh, runmqakm is the command we're going to use for all of these. And then it has um, a secondary command to tell whether you're working with uh, key database, certificates, cert requests, and so forth. So this is the command to create a cert request. So far everything's uh, as before. We point to the same key database. We use the dash stashed. But we're going to go ahead and tell it right now what the label is that this certificate should have when it's installed in the key database, when we eventually receive it from the uh, certificate authority. And we also have to tell it what size to use. 2048 is uh, what pretty much standard these days. Uh, you can go larger. It's not going to buy you that much right now. Uh, the signature algorithm that I'm using is SHA-512 with RSA. In the first module, we talked a little bit about the impact that that will have. I, I, there's certain elliptic curve uh, ciphers that I can't use with this certificate. But if I change the certificate to use those, then there's um, certain RSA ciphers that I can't use. Now note that I provided the dash SAN, that's subject alternative name, this is essentially the name of the certificate and it has to be a DNS name. Now what I've done is I've used the queue manager name dot mq dot the domain name and in a enterprise environment hopefully a, a naming convention like that will keep you from colliding with actual internal servers. Uh, the CA will validate that somebody at iOptConsulting.com uh, will actually accept this certificate request and that's how they validate the domain. Beyond that you can use whatever server name that you like. So my naming convention is to use the queue manager name .mq and then there should never be an internal DNS name uh, that collides with that. Now it's a good idea once you create the certificate request to actually list it out. So we can now see that there's one found and in addition to the list command, there's the details command. And whenever you use that, you have to give the label to tell it which certificate you want the details for. So that's the uh, printout of the certificate. And you can see exactly what attributes were used. There's my DNS name is birchmqoptconsulting.com. And there's the common name in the distinguished name that matches that. And that's what the CA will require of us. There's the SHA-512 signature. 
and then there's the uh, fingerprint and additional attributes. Now the CA will actually change some of those attributes and here's the certificate request that was generated when I did the uh, run MQ AKM command it generates this. This is the thing that you'll paste into the web screen at the CA which is in the next module. Stick with us, click the link.